give us your sense of what you were seeing. Like I mentioned, I think it's really less of a reaction to the MPC decision. It's really more of profit taking. I think it is. I think um, you're right in that sense. They had five continuous days of um, growth in the in the market, and I think people just taking a breather, and some people just taking short term investors taking profit off the table. But let's look a bit further down the line. The MPC decision obviously um, already indicates the tightening policy of the central bank going forward. And we anticipate even more tightening. In fact, some are um, expecting that we might see the MPR at 8% by the year, end of the year. So I think there's a general expectation that interest rates are going to go up. How is that going to hurt the market in your view? Well, uh, there, are there are two effects that interest rates will have on the, uh, rising interest rates will have on the market. I think the first is that it will make debt more expensive. So you probably see companies moving more towards the equity market in a sense to raise capital. So that should be a boost for the equity market. I think that conversely, if we still had margin trading, it will make margin trading a bit more expensive, but we don't have margin trading, so the effect of increasing interest rates should be less in that sense. But what, some others can argue that if we see rates getting to significant level and um, yields on fixed income are looking more attractive, there might be less appetite for taking risk in the equity market. Don't you think that at some point, if we see, for instance, um, deposit rates going to well over 10, 12 uh, percent, we might see a little flow towards the money market? It depends. I mean, in, during the boom of 2008, deposit rates were at 8, um, 15, 17 percent for some depositors, and that, that did not affect the market in that sense. Mm -hmm. I think what we'll probably see in, in terms of as if deposit rates go up, you st still see um, pension funds maybe doing less in the equity market and sticking to the fixed income market they have. But looking at pension funds have to have a long-term view. A long-term view, equity is probably the way forward for them. Let's take a look at um, the catalyst for the market going forward. There is a view that you know this market has rallied very strongly in the first month of the year, already up well over 11 percent. And you know, is there more juice left in this market? Obviously, people are uh, looking at corporate earnings. We'll probably get into any season in another week or two with perhaps the likes of Nigerian breweries releasing results. What are your expectations for those from that earnings season and the impact it will have on the market? I think um, investors have started the year, as you said, very confident. I think the new management has been announced for the NSC, the reforms that seem to be going on in the brokerage market. I think that has improved sentiment and confidence in the market. I think in terms of earnings, I think um, companies like M M Nigerian Breweries, a lot of the flour mills, they had strong earnings results last year and that's expected to continue going forward. Mm -hmm. There has been, commodity prices have gone up, which would suggest that inputs might go up and that might affect margins in these companies. Mm -hmm. But with the earnings growth and the growth in revenue expected, I think that will more than cover any shortfall in that regard. But, uh, what about the banking sector? With a high interest rate environment, how do you see that impacting on, on earnings for that sector? I think the main impact on, on the banking sector will be on provisioning. I mean, there's a bit of an argument between whether the 1% general provisioning, which they're supposed to do, which are, they had a wave, waiver last year, will be implemented this year by the NASB. And uh, apparently CBN do not want them to implement it because they think the banks have provided enough. That have a big effect on mm -hmm. bank earnings. But I think bank, the banking sector is still 50, 60% of the market. And so with strong earnings, the, the banking sector could lead a growth spurt in the market. Mm -hmm. But I think... Everyone's still waiting to see whether the rescued banks, the kind of some resolution to the rescued banks, and whether credit to the real economy will actually grow this year. And then uh, what about outside the banking sector? Um, let's come back to the breweries. Um, some are already thinking that valuations in that sector are a bit rich at the moment, that even if earnings were to come in line with expectations, that you really shouldn't be buying Nigerian breweries at the current levels, for instance. What's your view on that? If you're a short-term investor, no. I think Nigeria has showed strong growth last year. I think the share price last year grew about 40, 50 percent from the previous year because even when the market was going down, people were um, moving towards safety stocks such as Nigerian breweries. So they had strong growth last year. And I think their, their, their P, if you look at their four P ratios, is quite high. So this year, if you're looking at the next 12 months, Nigerian breweries will show good results, but I think the price already reflects that expectation. I think in the longer term, with the growth expected in the Nigerian beverage market, especially in the alcoholic sector, especially with GDP growth and the young population we have, in the next five, six year term line, and investing in things like Nigerian breweries will be a good investment. So which stocks or which sector do you think still show um, good value at the moment? I think at the moment, um, there are certain picks in the food and beverages sector, which uh, you're seeing a lot of foreign capital coming to that sector. 
because there's a lot of um, mainly academic research on the fact that um, Nigeria has a young population. The size of the Nigerian population, I think between 18 and, 18 and 30, is bigger than the whole of Western Europe's population within that size. So people are seeing that sector as a big growth sector. So that's, I think there'll be more investment, especially capital intensive in that sector. And there's one or two stocks that will show um, that's still good picks in that sector.